Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's an honor to step on the field with uh, this new organization that I'm a part of. Um, I know it was a quick turnaround, but um, just to be a part of the, this group, um, I'm excited to start this new journey. And, you know, the game, as far as the game uh, for myself, um, I had to get adjusted to the altitude right away. Um, but, you know, it's about understanding the players that are on the field with me. Um, I had a brief meeting with the coach this morning, um, watched a bunch of film just so I can get acclimated uh, with how we defend and also how we attack. And I know this week I'm going to take advantage of, you know, talking to my teammates and talking to the coaching staff to make sure that um, I understand, you know, the principles and the structure of this this team. Other questions now. We'll start with Connor Cape, Altu Sports Radio. Jossie, uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to meet sometime next week but nice to make your virtual acquaintance this acquaintance this evening um, my question for you is when did you find out you were going to play tonight what was your reaction to that and what was your initial reaction to this trade and coming to the Colorado Rapids yeah you know so uh yesterday um I trained with Columbus crew and you know was preparing to uh mentally go on a flight to Kansas City to play, and um, you know after training, um, once I done, w once I was done with showering and stuff, uh, you know I got a call um, from well actually a meeting with Bez and uh, and a call from my agent saying hey Columbus Crew traded you to uh, Colorado and they want to get you on the first available flight um, to Colorado. So I was like hey I'm up for it. Um, I went home, uh, you know, uh, packed my bags right away and. You know, hopped on that flight. I think it was like a seven at night or something like that. Um, got in, got to the hotel pretty late. Um, tried to get some rest. Woke up early because I'm still on Eastern time. But, um, you know, went about my day as usual. And uh, it was a quick turnaround, but, you know, I was prepared for it. What about Brendan Sloan, Denver Post? <laughs> Hi, GLC. Good evening. My name's Brendan. I'm the sports reporter for the and repose covering the rapids um welcome first of all and i'm curious you know what was the reaction like when you stepped on onto the field that uh first time and um got the standing out from from the crowd Thank yeah um you know it's incredible i know how much fans mean to to clubs and um just for them to to welcome me you know and help me feel a part of this family it was incredible um you know you had multiple fans calling my name throughout the warm-up you know cheering me on and saying how excited they are to have me a part of the club and you know as a player that motivates that motivates me and uh you know i'm gonna do whatever i can to continue to work hard and uh, give everything i have for this club i'm gonna matt pollard last word on soccer Hi, Jossie. It's nice to meet you virtually. Um, I'm curious, you didn't train with the team. Obviously, you had a quick meeting with Robin. Um, how do you think, how does one go about getting used to your new teammates in an actual game setting and how you think you grew within the game? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was trying to communicate as much as I could with uh, players around me, just double checking, like, hey, I'm supposed to go, uh, I'm supposed to be here, I'm supposed to be there, just because, you know, when you're defending, it's important that, uh, you defend as a unit, you know, and and you have a we have a structure, we have a game plan, and it's important to stick to that just so the opposing team they don't break us down. And I wanted to make sure that wasn't going to happen tonight. Um, and uh, attacking wise, um, I was trying to you know catch my bearings and, and understand uh, you know Diego, uh, J. Lou, um, their runs when they're when they're playing. Also, uh, you know Betashore when he has the ball, he played one into space and. Uh, after that, I communicate to him, like, I'm going to bait the run into space, and if you play my feet, I can exploit the defender. So, uh, you know, it's, it's little things that I'm going to work on um, this week in training. I know the guys don't really don't really know me, uh, or at least my playing style, like things that will benefit me and vice versa. You know, um, I need to really get to know them, you know, and understand, like, hey, this player likes the ball to his feet or that player likes to run into space. You know, it's little things that like that, like little details that will change the the game. So um, I'm going to do whatever I can this week to get up to speed, and I'm looking forward to to playing with these guys. We have any Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Josh, I appreciate the time. I guess you mentioned watching all that film this morning. What, just what jumped out from that session? I guess what you learned about the, the club and the way they're, they're approaching play? Man, what, 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 what caught my attention was the ability to get the ball in the box. You know, as a striker, that's a dream to have multiple chances um, a game. Um, so the way this team 
you know, get behind opponents and, you know, get service into the box. That that was the biggest thing that, that jumped out to me, you know. So as an attacking player, it's important that, you know, I'm in the box and, and finding the right runs just so I can get on the end of crosses. We'll go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Josie, thanks for some time. Hey, uh, welcome back. Welcome to stay a little longer this time. Um, coming in, you know, you're on the sideline there having a chat with Robin and Sharpie. What, what did the uh, instructions did they have for you, or just say, hey, go out and have fun? Yeah, so it was obviously about our formation. We changed our formation just a little bit, our uh, the personnel and. Um, other than that, it was uh, a lot of talk about the set pieces because, you know, set, set pieces are crucial. Um, we had, I think when I came into the game, about like four or five corners. Um, so I had to make sure I knew my responsibility um, because set pieces are, are, are deadly. So uh, um, other than that, you know, he he stated that, you know, we need more runs in behind. Um, we, we didn't have enough runs behind. So I wanted to make sure I try to be an option um, for players to play balls in behind, but also – uh, the connection too with, with J. Lou and, and Diego to push Diego out wide and now go up top in the center. Go to Jacob Myers, Columbus Dispatch. <coughs> hey, Jossie, good to talk to you. Um, I was sorry to not get a chance to say goodbye to you and, and good luck and all that. So hope you, Maddie, and the kids are, are all going to do well in your next spot here. Um, just wanted to get a sense from you. Uh, would you have stayed in Columbus if it was up to you? And then I guess what made you kind of sign off on, on this move to Colorado? Yeah. So, uh, for myself, you know, this was an exciting opportunity. You know, um, I spoken with Caleb, I spoken with, uh, Tim, um, you know, Bez and, you know, it was an exciting opportunity for, for both Columbus crew and also for, uh, Colorado and myself. So, um, you know, I, I had a brief conversation and I, I jumped on the plane and, and, you know, this is the next chapter of my career and I'm, I'm excited and, uh, you know, because it's important as you look not only, uh, you know, at the, at the MLS level in the, the season, but you look at the national team level as well. Um, and y as a striker, you have to be playing games, you know, you have to catch form, you have to be scoring goals to even get a sniff at representing your country. Um, uh, but moreover, you know, I'll have a conversation with, uh, with Robin and uh, some of the guys here, I, I, know, I know like obviously Lalas, uh, Booba, um, you know, J. Lou, and, you know, just communicating with those guys and, and them telling me like, gee, you come here, you're going to get service. You're going to be, um, you know, in the box. Uh, we'll get the ball to you. You're going to have fun. It's a great group, hard workers. And, uh, you know, I pounced on that just because, um, you know, I just want an opportunity just to play and, and uh, you know, give it my all. I feel like I still have a lot to give, and uh, I want to do that for uh, this organization. Thanks, man. All the best. Thank you. Go back to Matt. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, last one for me. Um, a lot's been made on uh, it, here in the press box about the potential relationship you could have with Diego Rubio. Um, prior to the trade, what was your thoughts on who he is as a player, and what do you think the ceiling is potentially for you two playing up top together? Thank you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, before I before I actually flew here, I was trying to catch some video clips of some of the players just so I can understand them, but, man, he's an amazing player. Um, and, and like I was saying earlier, he's a player that likes the ball at his feet. Um, he's a great post-up player. Obviously, today he was turning guys like no other. Um, so it's going to be important for me to understand that. If I play him a ball, I have to play his feet. Um, and, you know, just him understanding me as well. I need to communicate to him um, Excuse me, certain runs that um, I like to make and, and see – if uh, if it works, you know that's that's what it's about. Utilizing training sessions to get to know your teammates. So when it comes down to the game time, you guys are on the same page.